Hey, it's JC1424 once again with World of Outlaws Dirt Racing. And in this episode of our season as Donnie Shots, we're going to the Bristol Motor Speedway, all covered up in dirt. Not sure what that's going to mean for us because, I mean, I've played a lot of NASCAR games and I've raced this track before in Saturday Night Speedway. I've mentioned that game so many freaking times. But I, I don't know how that's going to be for me now. But I got this alternate paint scheme out, you know, because Donnie Shots has got two different paint jobs. Uh, we're fifth in the standings. Uh, last episode, we raced at Lima Land, and we finished sixth for the second time in a row because we also got that I-55. Yeah, I don't expect to finish better than in either of the races we did last weekend going into this one. But let's go back to this menu. Let me show you the championship options like always. You know, you get the 100 custom difficulty, full damage. Full race length, uh, the relaxed yellows, and then you, you got the driving settings, the AI settings, and whatever, all this other crap, it don't matter. Let's get into it. And you got your track stats. Obviously, it's a half mile. It's going to be 50 laps. But I think because of the banking and everything, it shouldn't take too long to get around compared to other tracks. I don't know. I do not have any experience driving around this track in the sprint cars, but I guess I'm getting that right now as we do qualifying. It is steering so much to the left on its own. There is there's some really bad stagger McSwagger on this damn thing. Oh my god. It was so easy to drive this track in Saturday Night Speedway. I mean, sure, it... It had this, this, this swagger of sorts, but uh, no, it, it wasn't like this. It's it's really hard to get it to get it going straight like I want. That was a pretty damn good lap, if I do say so myself. 37. So here's the actual like top 10 qualifying results. I'm nowhere near it at all. That's unusual. But Spencer Baston is your pole sitter. Then you got Carson Macedo. Uh, Sheldon Hodenshield is fifth. Craig Kinzer's up there. That's probably the best I've seen him qualify for anything. And, you know, your, your typical names where they usually are. Welcome to Heat 1. The top two advance to the qualifying dash. Good luck. Oh, my God. Why can't this car just go straight? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Goddamn driving aids, civility help, turn up to fucking 20. What the hell do you want me to do? We're just about ready to start. I was not prepared to have to drive a car that is completely against me at all times. I've had a really heinous experience of trying to, to drive this car whenever it keeps turning itself down the track. Like the stagger is just way off, which it shouldn't be if they set this up by default for a wheel. But I'm not on a wheel, so what's the default setup for the controller? Is it the same damn thing? Because that doesn't make sense. I don't know. I feel like either way, it's just too wacky to constantly counter steering this car in the freaking straightaway. I would not be hitting you if I was good at driving, but I am not. Ugh. Got 10 laps to do this. In my experience, I think I'm fast enough to contend for fourth, but not third. Third typically drives away from me. That that's with or without the the 20% on the, the stability help. See, I mean, I'm still doing counter steering, but it, it's a lot more stable. That's kind of what stability help does. Why am I not passing these guys? I'm just looking at them. I don't like doing that. I'm going in, and I stay right above the white line. That's the halfway point. I don't exactly have a, a rhythm at this track right now. Like, it could be running the top of the track, but I can't get the car to go fast enough to just stay at the top of the track if I go up there. It always just arcs back down. This guy in the red car behind me has been tailing me, running the top line, getting more out of it than I can from the bottom. And I can't run the top. Like I just said, if, if I go to the top, the car is so slow, this track is so banked, that it just goes back down to the bottom naturally. So, yeah, we're going to the B main. We're going to run our first B main of the season. Although I probably deserve to have run 
a handful of B mains at this point. Yeah, there's the results from that race. We were in here with Spencer Basin. He finished seven seconds ahead of us. We're about to start the B main. The top five finishers advance to the A main. I thought they said we we're racing sunset, but it's B main and it's already almost nighttime because it's sunset now and the A main is actually going to be nighttime, ain't it? That's what I think. We have 20 laps to win the, the B main and then we get our first actual win of the season, win one of the main events. Now you win this, you get to be in the A main. So it, it kind of makes sense. I'm not having any issue driving away for the rest of the field right now. Yeah, one lap to go, and I have a massive lead. I feel like Spencer Basin just a while ago in the heat that I ran. Well, I lapped a guy. Oh my goodness, Donnie Schatz, he won something. You know, I feel like Donnie Schatz has won more A mains than B mains because of how actually good he is in, in real life. Maybe in his early days, he had to win B mains. I don't freaking know. Oh, oh, sweet fucking heavens. There was a flipping car, and the velocity of my car was saying, we're going to hit this guy. Look at my freaking tea. I didn't even open my tea yet. Yeah, JC loves his brisk iced tea. Oh, he just did a barrel roll. That was sexy. Damn. I'm seven. That is also sexy. Sexy seven. Forsyth. 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 I'm intrigued. Oh my god, that is Casey Kane. Casey Kane has decided to touch me, and we're both wrecking, and we are flipping, and oh my god. Now I've got arrow damage. I don't know what that means. Why has it got a picture of a stock car in there? Oh my god. This is Bristol. It's a high-speed track, and the car just do normal things that I understand. But it's not turning itself anymore. What? What? It's supposed to do that. I was really happy before Casey Kane did that. I was in a good mood. Things were going well. I was seventh, and the race was almost over. Yeah, he, he bitch smacked me, and then gave me arrow damage. Which makes some sense, but I don't know why it was, a, it was a stock car graphic at the bottom of the screen. I've now been trying to do this race for an hour. There's a lot that leads up to it. And you just about get there and you get completely screwed. So now, you know, i got to be complainer, JC, as I go through this race. Because now, you know, I'm frustrated. I'm going to get back into the racing mood. We're racing! Um, maybe someone watching the series will understand the reference. Okay, so we got all these cars next to us. Brad, sweet, stop being next to me. That's your fault. It's your fault. Next to me. Stop existing. <laughs> this is quite the mentality to live by. And they all were just like right in front of us and everything. Brad, sweet, go away. But, you know, they're starting to spread out. I'm stuck in traffic. Stupid Brad, sweet, bitch ass. I'm trying to pass Jacob Allen, but I have to keep on not going up the track because of you. Is he gone? Okay, I think he's gone. And now we're getting down to business. Well, now Jacob Allen's next to me. You know, I'm going to run up here. Get that really nice runoff. Okie dokie then. Keep on doing it. Do my routine. 
Ugh. Ooh, I cock blocked him. Nice. We are fast enough to pass this, uh, Rose. Amy Rose. Let's see what it is today. Oh, we got caution! And I'm 10th. I don't want to be 10th. That's on the outside! I don't know how to restart at this track on the outside. I think I have it worse on the outside this track than any other. I never get it right! Okay, I'm just go go straight. It's turning to the left. I am I'm checking up for you, Mr. Mr. Amy Rose. Amy Rose. Put her picture up. Y'all know who that is. Or some of y'all do. Okay, oh, this is one of those good restarts for passing people as they all check up. But later on they're gonna wanna pass me and then I'm gonna be in their way and then they might just do more bitch smacking. If I did actual video titles, this one would, I would get no monetization for this. It's called the bitch smacking episode. But uh, no, I just go with the track because I feel like that's better for search criteria. Mm, I don't know why I didn't decide to put the actual race numbers in there though. Not not sure about that. I could have, but no, it's like I want the race logo, the game logo, and then I even put the race number of how long the season is in the title. Not even that. David Gravel, we're about equal in speed whenever I'm in my zone. But I'm dealing with Craig Kinzer. About to finish six for the third time in a row. Good God. I'm trying to get up the track, but I don't like that. That's making it difficult. I'm more than likely, once I, I clear Craig Kinzer, I'm just going to be holding people up because I don't have anyone to compete with. Yeah, that... that oh! Fucking Lord! <laughs> I bounced off the apron. If it didn't do that, we would not have that issue. Ugh! I don't want to do this! I can't drive my car! There's the caution. And I'm still on the outside. I was running fifth because of restarts. Yeah, the leaders were getting into lap traffic, I don't know. Speaking of which, yeah, there's a ton of lap traffic up there. The leaders are in it. I am trying to take seventh finally. I will do that. We are obviously faster than McFadden, just barely. So. Working on doing that pretty soon. This has been all raw footage so far. You've, you've seen me go from very angry to upset. I can't say I'm happy right now. No, no. I'm, I'm content. I'm getting back in a good mood. So I get to the end of the race, something bad happens, and then, oh, I'll be angrier than I ever was before. Do, do, do. He's working the top lane. I'm getting more out of the bottom than he is from the top. Oh, my God. That is such a massive stack of lap cars. Can y'all just wreck? Like right now while I'm seventh trying to get into sixth. Just wreck! Oh, I just pulled up in front of him. I wasn't trying to do that. I'm losing it. I'm losing it and getting distracted by my glasses. And all these lap cars are about to make this a lot harder than it needs to be. You know, this is the fastest guy in contention for us, so of course it's going to be hard to pass him. We're approaching the halfway point. That's how long this damn race is. Well, yeah, there's one of the tumbling cars I was expecting. Is someone going to hit that? I'm seventh. Okay, I fixed my glasses. Now I'm going off the track. That's what I fucking get. Should I get contacts? I gotta stick my fingers in my eyeballs if I get contacts. Dude, please fucking move! I hate this shit! Quit working the track! I'm not even trying to do this right now! I just don't know where to go! You lost me a position! Jacob Allen go to the top. Theory he's still next to me, but he's not. <sighs> Stupid lap cars. It's not hard to pass just this big old group of cars one at a time. It's the one specific guy that decides to run the bottom. I'm running the bottom. They're not programmed to just know that, hey, you shouldn't do that. This guy is the leader. I am trying to avoid him. I don't know how to, to do that. Did I just wreck him? I did wreck him. 
he is losing several positions right now. I'm just gonna shut up for the remainder of the race. I don't deserve to speak. Something just happened behind. Oh my goodness! And I'm I'm seventh. I didn't touch anybody. I I I didn't do it. He hit a lap car. I'm a lap car. But he didn't hit. He me lap car. Okie dokie then. Can I take advantage of this late race restart from the inside? Two laps to go. I have to find out. To stay on the inside and don't hit the apron. Oh man, they just stacked up hard right there. Oh my God, this is some NASCAR shit. I could win this race. I am not going to win this race. One lap to go. Maybe I can pull up in front of David Gravel, but I don't want to get myself stuck to the wall. Oh, yeah, he pulled way too far away out the corner. All right, so fourth it is. I did not deserve that. I, I, I don't deserve any of this shit. Hey, David Gravel, instead of barrel rolling and having a destroyed car, he finishes third. Good for you. And Spencer Basin got his win back. Okay, that that was a good thing. Yeah, I I redeemed myself. Logan Stuchert, the guy that I pulled in front of somehow, causing the wreck, that gave us the restart to end the race. He finishes seventh. This thumbnail I'm making right here, I guess I'm just trying to show the front of the field and the, the pack of cars. It's a good opportunity. I got room for the track logo and the World of Outlaws logo. Oh my god, yeah, it always does that. It always does that. <laughs> the, the game is loud, and I turn up the volume so we can have the music in the background. Fourth place. <laughs> All right, we moved to fourth in the season standings. About to find out who it is that we passed. Spencer Basin won, so it can't be him. And David Gravel, he's all the way down there, but he just finished ahead of us as well. Um, I think it, it might be McFadden. I, I don't... I mean, it could be freaking Jack Frost over here in seventh because he always runs poorly. So that lead me to believe that he was already behind us. I, maybe it's McFadden. I have no idea. I have spent very little of my time drinking my brisk iced tea because I was just doing this race, really long race. A much easier race to get done than all the others. I'd say it was my favorite race yet. I just did not like what Casey Kane did to me. So I'll see you guys tomorrow whenever we go to Kokomo Speedway. And we're going to get back in the, the regular paint job, of course. This track is flat as crap and really wide. It's a 40 lap race. But it probably takes longer to get around because of the way it's designed compared to Bristol. I, I, I don't know how this is going to go. We'll find out when we get there. That's that, and episode over.